Hello friends, today we will learn how to host a C++ Win32 window as a child inside a WPF window. We will use a WPF C-sharp project and a C++ dynamic link library project in our solution. We will create the Win32 window in the C++ DLL and use its handle in the C-sharp WPF project. Let's get started. First, create a WPF application project. Now let's add a C++ dynamic link library project to our solution. We are not going to use pre-compiled headers in this project, so I'm going to disable it in the project properties. Now add a new header file called window.h. Now I build the project to generate the DLL file. As you can see, the DLL file is generated in the debug build folder of this project. Now I write the general window procedure for the Win32 window that I will create later. Now I define the macro that will make functions visible to projects that import this DLL. This function will be called from the C-sharp WPF project. And it gets as parameters the parent window's handle, height and width. And will create and return a handle to Win32 window that is a child of the parent window that we received as a parameter.
Now we finished setting up the C++ Win32 window creation. Let's switch back to the C# -sharp project and add a class called Window API. Copy the DLL path which is in the debug folder. Now I write a function definition that will reference the imported function from the C++ DLL. Add a new class for the control that will host the Win32 handle that will be returned from C++. Add a user control that will be the view for the Win32 window. Now set the project build order. The WPF project depends on the C++ DLL, thus needs to be built before. Do a batch solution build, and run the application. Put the Win32 view in the main window. Congratulations! Here it is. The red window as you can see, is the Win32 window that we created in C++. And it is hosted as a child inside the WPF window. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something new in this video, goodbye.